So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why my aching back prevented me from trading today. It's not as simple as you might think, but this is a very useful video. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader here in Hawaii, still recovering uh, from my back accident, trying to lift luggage from the overhead compartment like an idiot. Um, Leave a comment underneath this video if you've ever done something stupid. Um, tell me what it is. Try to make me feel better, you know? We all do stupid stuff. Don't be too hard on yourself. But it's good to talk about it because we are all human. Um, and that brings me to my point about this video. So I'm here in Hawaii. I got my laptop. I got my view. I actually got up at 3.30 in the morning here because uh, the stock market opens early. Hawaii is a very tough time zone to trade from. Um, but I am human and I recognize that number one, I'm on pain meds for my back. Number two, I'm up at 3.30 in the morning. Number three, I have this big Save the Reef uh, movie premiere. We've created a whole documentary film. Um, click the link just below. By the time you watch this video, it'll be up. It's on YouTube. You want to spread maximum awareness about uh, why it's important to save the coral reefs. But I have all of this stuff going on. Bad time zone, on drugs, and I have this documentary. And, you know, the drugs, I mean, it's just like basic painkillers. But I'm really sensitive uh, to even like, you know, Vicodin or uh, what's the other one? Vicodin and, uh, oh, Percocet. It makes me crazy. I don't have either of those. I think I have like Flexerol or something. Um, but my back is killing me. I have these painkillers. Bad time zone. A lot going on. I'm human. I'm not making excuses. I'm not whining. We all have our own issues. And because I have these issues, I was less likely to trade today. And guess what? It's okay. A lot of people freak out when there's no good plays or they freak out when there is a good play and they miss it. Um, a lot of you guys have to be less hard on yourselves. You have to just accept it that we are human, that we will make mistakes. Sometimes you miss a trade. Sometimes you take a trade that you shouldn't be in. You're learning, you're refining. And I know this isn't the most exciting video lesson, but it's important. It's actually urgent that you understand this. It's critical to your future success. You will miss trades. Some days there will be no trades. With penny stocks, you have to wait for good setups. This isn't like trading Facebook or Amazon options or Forex where there's a lot of liquidity, there's a lot of volatility, there's a lot of leverage every single day. Penny stocks, you have to trade like a sniper. Wait for the good setups. And even if there is a good setup, what is your own personal setup? You know, you might not have back problems, you might not be in a bad time zone, but maybe, you know, you have a busy day in meetings. I have a lot of students who are trading part-time and working full-time. Maybe you have a big family event and you're trying to set that up. So you have to be aware of this, okay? And I know people think, oh, it's just about, you know, good stocks or bad stocks or hot picks. It's not. You have to look at this as a process, the process of getting rich over time, the process of making the stock market work for you, not the other way around. I know too many people where they're like, yeah, I love the stock market. I'm up every day at 8 a.m. and I'm done at 5 p.m. I freaking love my job. That is a job, you know, that for me, the stock market allows me freedom, allows me to travel everywhere and still make money more times than not. But I don't want to trade every day from eight to five. I don't want to stare at a screen from eight to five. I got into the stock market, A, because I made me a lot of money, but I stuck with it because I love the freedom. Some days there's no good plays. I just don't trade. Sometimes I have my own personal issues, like you know I've talked about in this video. I just don't need to trade. There were a few potential trades and I thought about it, but then I was like, you know, this one stock, PRED, has been a strong multi-week runner. I thought about dip buying it. It's the first green day, but it's not the most volatile. It's not the most liquid. And then I have my movie premiere tonight, and it pretty much ends at like 10 p.m. By the time I get back to the hotel, it might be 11 or 12. Do I really want to get up at 3 a.m. for a not-so-sure pick? The answer is no. Um, if it was a great setup, I would say, screw it. I'll take a nap in the middle of the day. I'll be in this. But because I judge my own personal schedule and my own personal issues right now, that made me not make the trade. And that's what you have to choose. This is not an exact science. And the more patient you are, the more picky you are, the better. 
it's okay to miss a play, okay? Too many people overtrade. Too many people are gamblers and they trade just random stuff that's not necessarily good setups because they feel like they need to trade every day. Let me remind you, you do not need to trade every day. You need to wait for the best plays. What do you do when you're not trading? Well, you can study. I have tons of video lessons, DVDs and webinars. I'll post the links just below here. Study the past. Be better prepared for when there is a good play. A lot of you guys don't even know what a good play looks like. It's because you haven't studied the past enough. So this has been a little bit of a different video lesson, but you have to think differently if you're gonna make it as a trader. Remember, 90% of traders lose. It's due to lack of preparation. It's due to over trading and forcing trades. Let me try to fix that for you. Again, leave a comment underneath this video. Tell me something stupid that you did so that you can make me feel better about doing something stupid with my back. Hey, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there and also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge and become my next millionaire student.